On October 21st, over the Black Sea, a U.S. Navy P-8A Poseidon patrolled when a Russian Su-27 rapidly approached. The P-8A Poseidon is a multi-mission aircraft for maritime surveillance and anti-submarine warfare. The Russian jet flew a straight path, ignoring international aviation rules. IKO regulations ensure safety and prevent dangerous encounters between aircraft. The maneuver was reckless. The Russian jet came within 10 feet of the P-8A. The Russian pilot performed a barrel roll, closing within 25 feet, creating a dangerous vortex. The American crew responded with discipline, relying on training and the P-8A systems. They activated technology, turning arrogance into a malfunction for the adversary. This was a fight of data and nerve, showcasing modern military encounters. Russia's first mistake was believing they were dealing with a single, isolated aircraft. They attempted basic electronic concealment, hoping to surprise the P-8A. But their element of surprise vanished before it even materialized. A USE 3 Sentry AWACS aircraft, patrolling nearby, was securely linked to the P-8A. Data from both platforms was instantly integrated into a unified intelligence picture, creating a panoramic view of the battlefield. The Su-27's exact location and projected flight path were predicted while it was still 50 nautical miles away. With this complete situational awareness, the American pilots remained perfectly calm. They tasked the P-8A's high-resolution cameras to record the entire provocative incident, turning Russia's aggression into irrefutable evidence for the international community. The U.S. was operating within an impenetrable information network. The threat escalated in the Black Sea, a critical waterway for maritime commerce and stability. Two more advanced Russian SU-30 models launched from Sevastopol, hoping to trap the P-8A with numbers. But this exposed a fatal Russian weakness. Their aircraft cannot link up or share combat data effectively. The U.S. response was immediate and unified. 2F divided by a minus 18E Super Hornets launched from the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, 200 miles away. Their ASA radars and AMROM missiles boasted a lethal range far superior to Russia's best air-to-air -air weapons. Crucially, they were connected to the same data network, allowing them to track the Su-27 without ever revealing their own position. Simultaneously, beneath the waves, the P-8 as sonar locked onto a noisy Russian Kilo-class attack submarine. An MH-60 or Seahawk helicopter quickly deployed an inescapable acoustic net of sonobuoys, turning the anonymous observer into a tracked and targeted threat. The U.S. controlled the skies and the underwater domain, demonstrating superior coordination and technological advantage. The peak of Russia's aggressive action came when the lead Sioux, 27 pilot activated his fire control radar and locked onto the P-8A, the equivalent of pointing a loaded gun. The flanker also began emitting crude jamming signals, attempting to blind the American sensors. This final, desperate card backfired spectacularly. The P-8 as new generation ALQ-249 jamming system reacted instantly. It not only blocked the incoming signal, but amplified and counterattacked in a brutal electronic countermeasure. On the Russian pilot's radar screen, the single P-8A target vanished, replaced by a flood of hundreds of false targets. His entire situational awareness became useless. Strong electronic interference, lost target lock, screen full of fake targets. His distress crackled over the radio. Cut off from his wingmen, blind and alone in the sky. The Russian pilot had no choice but to abort the attack and immediately retreat. As the Sioux 27 pilot patrolled the Black Sea, an unexpected target appeared on his radar. It was the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, invisible until that moment, hovering menacingly. Its appearance declared U.S. control of the airspace, thanks to advanced stealth technology. A Super Hornet escort launched an AAM-120D missile, but without a warhead. This non-lethal warning shot streaked within 200 feet of the Su-27's nose, creating high tension. The sonic boom and whine were broadcast over emergency radio, delivering a clear message. The message was clear, withdraw immediately. The overwhelmed Russian pilot retreated. He reported a malfunction, 
to save face, highlighting strategic restraint. The U.S. Department of Defense released data and video, making it a public lesson in technological superiority. This demonstration underscored the absolute limits of aggression against advanced military technology.